All right, today's the day. I have to pull this rear diff. I have the CAS O-ring I need to do, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to it today. I have to pull this rear diff, get it out for the buyer. He's gonna be coming over later this afternoon. So let's get to it. Now with the e-brake off and out of gear, you can spin this around however you need to to make it easier to pop off. Now if these are being a pain in the ass and you have two piece axles, go ahead and drop the nuts and bolts off, get the axle out of the way and you can pull these ears off later. It's just with the differential mounted to the car, it's a little easier to pry on these. And then you can just pop it right out. Now with both of the CV axles popped loose, we can move on to the actual drive shaft bolts and then the two power plant frame bolts and then the two ear bolts holding the actual diff to the car. Just like the bolts on the top of the hubs, these are 14 millimeter. Now with the drive shaft disconnected, we need to work on the power plant frame bolts. If you saw my previous video, the best way is to break these loose with either an impact or a long breaker bar cheater pole, and then take them all the way out, put them back in two full turns, put a piece of wood against them and hit them with a hammer, and that will set the captive nuts at the top of the PPF free. So we're gonna do that now. The power plant frame bolts are 17 millimeter. Holy shnikes. These can be tough because they do tend to rust at the top. You may need some heat or a very long breaker bar if an impact wrench won't work. All right, so like I said, once you get these down, you can whap them with a hammer and that's going to release these captive nuts at the top of the PPF. And then reach up there with your hand and hold this steady while you back the bolt out the rest of the way. The one with the collar on it, they only go in one way, but in case you get mixed up, the collared one goes on the front, right in front of the skid mark. On the bottom of the PPF, there's also a plug that needs to come out because it locks into the diff and prevents it from sliding backwards. Now, with the PPF, the drive shaft, and the CV axles out of the way, the only thing left to remove is the actual rear diff hanger bolts. So we're gonna pull those nuts off. Those look like a 10, this looks like a 17. So same thing on both sides, pull these loose. Make sure you have a jack underneath the differential itself, right about here. That way it doesn't fall onto its own weight because once those are out, there's nothing left holding it in. So these two 12 millimeter nuts hold this cap on over this guy here. It's like an alignment damper and then the 17 in the middle comes right out. Once that's out, there's really nothing left holding this guy in except the jack. So we're gonna slowly lower the jack. And as we lower the jack, we're gonna finagle and wiggle this thing around and get it out of this housing. And as you can see, I did not remove my exhaust. So that is gonna be a pain in the ass, but we should be okay. I'm gonna pull on the hubs, try and get these axles the rest of the way out so it got to a point where i couldn't get the cv axle out far enough by pulling on the hub to get the half shaft out of the diff so i went ahead and removed all the nuts come on now i can separate the two maybe and now with the two halves separated i can move this out of the way and pull the half shaft Half shaft out. Now I just gotta make sure that it's actually free of the power plant frame. Uh. 
Now even though there is a way, some kind of magical Tetris twisting maneuver to get this thing to fall out, you can always just take these 17 millimeter bolts out of this frame here and drop this frame and then the entire diff will fall right out. Now with that frame out of the way, there's really nothing holding this in. We can move the axles out of the way here. We can drop this over. And then lower it right on down. And it's out of the car. Now there's really no way to know if this is a torsen or just a regular open diff without either opening the diff itself or you can pull one of the CV axles and look at the inside. And if you can see straight through to the other side here, then it's a torsen diff. If you look into the inside and there's a shaft going across the hole, then that is a open diff. So straight through with just teeth, then you have a torsen rear differential. All right guys, hopefully that answers some of your questions. Seeing it actually be done and doing it is a lot harder than just talking about how to do it. So hopefully that helps a little bit for you guys that are planning on doing this in the near future. Now I just gotta wait on the guy to show up with the open diff and I uh, will probably go ahead and weld it. So if you guys wanna see a video on how to weld an open diff, comment below and click that like button, smash that subscribe button. And as always guys, keep on modding.